Good morning everybody. Today we're going to do a very simple juice. Uh, it's basically uh, orange. And I have my juicer here and we're just going to make the best, freshest orange juice in the whole world. Uh, the reason you want to make your own fresh orange juice is because if you buy it from the store in a container, uh, that's been usually pasteurized. Um, there's a new thing called um, high pasteurization or ultra pasteurization. Uh, the process is, is basically the same. Uh, they heat the orange juice to kill off any bacteria and to also let it have a long shelf life so um, no other bacteria will grow. Um, uh, ultra fast pasteurization means they just um, increase the heat uh, quite a bit and they put it for a short amount of time in the oven. Uh, basically it just kills uh, the, um, the nutrients uh, quicker but uh, it's the still the same thing. So I encourage you to make your own fresh juices on a daily basis and consume them on a daily basis. Um, the morning times is the best time for fruits. Um, I always associate fruits with brain food so oranges is really going to perk you up, wake you up revitalize you, energize you to start your day. And, uh, and, and having a fresh glass of orange juice in the morning is the best. The other thing about oranges is um, trying to keep the white rind on the orange uh, when you juice them because there is a lot of nutrients um, bound in this white rind. I know in, in the um, orange industry, they just squeeze it um, through these big machines. I'm not sure how much of this nutrient is actually extracted in that process. And with lemons, I put the whole lemon in the juicer. With the oranges, what I do is I peel the rind off of it, that orange rind. The reason is the oil in that uh, orange rind is not good for you. So you want to make sure that you uh, peel that initial layer off of it and leave it out. Um, it, also, if you ever press an orange juice, you'll notice this little bitter aftertaste. That's because of that um, oil in the orange. Uh, this way, when you juice this, all you get is a very sweet juice without any of those um, um, unbeneficial oils um, residue that's left behind. And I also want to talk to you guys about not cooking your food. Um, and this is really important because if you can just look at nature and emulate what's in nature, uh, you're going to be in harmony with nature and you're going to um, nourish and sustain your body according to laws of nature. Human beings um, are the only creature in nature that cooks its food. No other animal cooks their food. You don't see a bunch of lions sitting around a barbecue pit and uh, enjoying their last kill. Everything is to be consumed in, their nat as in, its, in its natural state. That's why cooking is such a foreign thing to our body because when our body sees that cooked food, everything has been denatured and changed. It treats it as a foreign substance and it, your body undergoes a process of what's called leukocytosis or an increased white blood cell count to fight off these foreign proteins in our system. So first of all I encourage you not to eat any meat protein whatsoever and second of all I encourage you not to cook your food. But this is going to be a slow process to wean yourself off of cooked food. The other thing is cooked food is very addicting. It's very hard to get off of it because your body will crave it and it's going to go into withdrawal symptoms. You might have headaches, um, mood swings, you might have um, jitteriness. So what I, what I encourage you to do is to transition yourself slowly into a, a raw food diet. And in the mornings, always start with, um, a, with a fruit. Um, now you could consume this whole in itself, you don't really have to juice it. Um, but the thing with, 
what a juicing is that what you do is you extract all the nutrients and you concentrate their power. Now, I don't know if you could sit there and eat this whole bowl of oranges uh, for your breakfast. Uh, and after a while, your stomach is going to get full. But if you juice it and you put it into a jar, you could drink this whole jar and, and not even think about it. And not only, not only can you consume more quantities, but you also get more of the nutrients and the beneficial vitamins and minerals that's in this orange. So let's uh, get started and make the juice. Today I'm using another Omega juicer. I think this is, um, this is an excellent juicer for juicing fruits. Um, and uh, we'll get started. Again, I recommend uh, drinking it by the liter of um, uh, fruit juice in the morning. Um, so this way, this will last you probably about uh, two to three hours. Um, if you do get thirsty anytime before that, uh, go ahead and make yourself another juice and drink that. The great thing about oranges uh, is uh, it's one of the um, few fruits that have great detoxification properties. What it does is it's, it works on the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is part of your body's waste system. That's where the cells uh, throw away all the their own uh, cellular restoration, their own cellular waste products. And this system is also highly acidic. So to, to buffer the acids, the body makes mucus or a lipid-based um, lipid medium to handle this acid waste. Now lipids are slow moving. They're not like the blood, uh, they're, not, they're not as um, watery and fast moving. So if you don't move your lymph system, it starts to back up and stagnate. So what happens is all your cells are trapped in this acid waste medium. And that's where you get the formation of disease and that's where you start to get the aches and the pains and the inflammation and the swelling. So the best way to move your limb system and keep your body clean and healthy and not make it a breathing ground for bacteria and viruses is to consume lots of fresh fruits and vegetables every day. And I also recommend everybody to get a good fair amount of exercise. Uh, perhaps half an hour to an hour. Um, if you're starting out, uh, you might consider just going for a jog or go swimming or anything else. Uh, this is getting full. I'm going to toss this out. Uh, so exercise is a great way to keep your body strong and healthy and to get things moving. Um, and the, the fruits is going to help you with that. Um, I'm going to toss this in here because it's getting full. Now I, I turn this um, juicer towards you so you can see how it works. Uh, and I really love this juicer for fruits. It does a good job on vegetables too. But um, I noticed that um, it does tend to clog up easily and it does tend to put more fibrous material in the juice, so it has more pulp in it. So, on a typical day, I'll drink uh, like a liter of um, fruit juice in the morning, and then I'll have uh, another uh, fruit juice uh, by the afternoon, and then um, say like by mid-afternoon, I'll have another um, vegetable juice, um, and then towards the evening, um, I have another vegetable juice, um, and then just um, stop right there. Uh, you want to stop 
eating maybe by around uh, 6, 7 o'clock at night. Uh, give your body a chance to work on the food that's already in your system. Um, and also, uh, get yourself ready for bed. Um, the vegetables um, will help you at nighttime to sort of calm down because in the morning the fruits will wake you up. So by nighttime the vegetables will help you relax and, and get ready for bed. Um, and by adopting a lifestyle of juicing and eating fresh fruits and vegetables, um, you really help to enhance the quality of your life. Um, a lot of us um, will go through life with um, aches and pains and sort of bear it along. Uh, you could um, turn to pharmaceutical drugs to help you uh, get through um, uh, those aches and pains. But remember, all drugs have side effects. And, um, you, and the last thing you want to do is to get hooked on something that you uh, really don't need and really don't um, need, need for your body because, because the greatest healer is your own body. It knows how to heal itself. All you have to do is get out of its way. And by that, I mean stop feeding it all the wrong food. If you give your body the right nourishment and you hydrate it and you go out into the sunshine and, and uh, absorb the sunlight and get vitamin D through that, the body will get rid of any weaknesses in it and it will heal itself and it will strengthen yourself and you don't even have to go see anybody for that. You just feed it the right ingredients and it will do the rest. It knows how to take care of itself. So I'm going to uh, stop right here and make this a short video and I encourage all of you guys to eat fresh fruits and vegetables and especially in the morning start out with the best orange juice that you can find in nature and um, always remember to detox physically, you also have to detox emotionally. And that means you start, you have to start loving yourself and you have to start loving others unconditionally and, and just be happy. Be happy and let go, let go of any emotions or any negative thoughts that come into you or that you're holding on to. Because when you do that, you lighten your body up and you align yourself with the positive forces of the universe. And that positive force is always love. And I always say that the answer is always love to whatever is the situation. If you always turn to the positive forces of love, that is the answer. So I send you lots of love. I wish you a good day. And I'll see you again soon. Peace and love.